All right, so Greg asked a question, uh, and it's actually not in a question form, so I'm going to kind of finagle this a little bit, what I think he's asking. He says, if you put a lump sum into an ETF like the S&P 500 and you want to pull 5% a year out, don't you have to sell some appreciation because the uh, dividends aren't enough? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, dude. And that the drawback with ETFs, actually, is that you still have to make an actual transaction as well. So, like, for instance, what is it? The market's just uh, marks five minutes from closing. So right now... The, uh, we'll just do VOO. Let's get a let's take a gander at what VOO is doing. All right, oops, not boo. Actually, is there a boo ticker? Oops, let's look. I did V. I did boo. Boo is I don't see a boo. I got Walgreens Boots Alliance and I got Boot Bar and Holdings, but no boo. Any of you guys out there trying to get on the New York Stock Exchange? Boo. It's three letters for the symbol. It says New York Stock Exchange. You could uh you could have boo for your uh, stock. Hey there, big guy. All right, so let's go to VOO. No, don't eat the flowers. They're not growing yet, but. All right, so the uh, S&P 500 ETF is uh, 300. Right, it opened today at 350. Uh, and right now it's at 345.54. So it's down uh, five bucks or so. So it's down with 1.45% on the day. So the drawback about the ETF is you actually have to go there and transact uh, a, an executed trade to get your 5% out. So if you put in a hundred, a hundred thousand dollars at three, at the high at three fifty, uh, which is what it opened at. And now it's at three forty five. inherently you're down in value. So when you sell, you know, $5,000 worth of a hundred thousand bucks, inherently you're going to be selling more than 5% because the market took a dump. Um, now on the other hand, same thing's going to happen to mutual fund, just a mutual fund, tr uh, trades once a day. All right, so the, the drawback about a mutual fund is you never really know what your price you're going to get. Um, and the reason for that is simple, because you put an order in, it doesn't execute until close of business. So you can put an order in at freaking, you know, 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, and that sucker won't execute until 4. Now, the nice thing about it is that you can change your mind within the trading. You just go and cancel your order. Uh, another, loud mouth. Pablo. He just hears a bird, and he just starts going crazy. Another thing with a mutual fund is it's easy. You can set it up automatically where you don't have to actually go in and make a trade. And there's no, because uh, they're open-end shares. And what an open-end fund means, it just, they take your money and they invest it without any, uh, you're not buying actual, you're not actually buying it from somebody. There's no bid or ask. It's just, it is. It's based on that net asset value at the end of the day. I don't want to get too deep and that's kind of confusing, but mutual funds are easier uh, simply because you're saying, hey, look, man, you know, send me a check for 5,000 bucks on March 1st every year. That's simple. Or you can say, send me a check for some, I don't know if they'll let you do percentages. I'm not sure if they do that in a mutual fund. I don't know. But you can still say, hey, 5000 bucks a year on $100,000. Now, you won't get the high the dividend. You will have to take some of your principal. I don't get, so many people are really anti-taking principal out. I, I, I never really understood this. Um, it's, a, it's an odd, uh, what's the word, not dilemma. It's an odd way to look at your investments. I mean, why? I don't get why you don't want to touch the principal. I mean, you're, you're, I, I get you want to live off your income and let your principal be, and I get there's some emotional thought process in that. But I mean, if you need the money, you need the money. You take the principal out. I, I, I don't get this whole thing. I'm just going to live off my dividends. You know, it's total return, man. It's dividends plus capital appreciation. That's what you get your total return. And so, if you're just living off your dividends, um, yeah, yeah, that you're not reinvesting. I don't know. I just I don't like that. So I say, look, what do you need? You need five thousand. On a hundred thousand portfolio, take it out. Yeah, you're not going to get enough. Now, the what a lot of people do, and I think that's a huge mistake, is say, "Well, I'm going to buy a higher yielding fund." Well, higher yielding fund generally means it has less upside appreciation. Uh, not all the time. Value stocks actually have, have performed nicely um, relative to growth stocks on occasion. It, it ebbs and flows, ebbs and flows, but. Um, a lot of these dividend heavy stocks, they're just paying a lot of dividends, a lot of cash flow going out the door, which means they're not reinvesting in the business, which means the business a lot of times doesn't have that much growth. And so without much appreciation or growth, you're just living off the dividend. And if that price starts sinking because of cash flow needs or they might have to cut the dividend, lots that could go wrong when you're buying a dividend heavy portfolio because you want to juice your the money you're getting back from the company. I, I don't like that at all. I th so. Yeah, I just, I don't think you should do that. But, you know, everyone has to do their own thing. I just, for me, I'm like, man, just, you need 5,000, you got 100,000 in there. You put in a VT, VFINX, Vanguard S&P 500 index, and just tell Vanguard every March 1st, send me a check for 5,000 bucks. And they'll say, okay. And they'll be automatically traded. You don't have to do anything. With an ETF, you can't do that. 
I guess he could put, I don't know, can he put a future order that far in? An open order? with I, I don't know how, I don't think so. I guess it'd have to be a, a limit order and that might not get executed. So anyway, if I'm, if I'm going to take money out on a regular basis, I'm just buying a mutual fund. All right, hope this helps. We'll see you.